back with another rant of the day and in today's video we're going to be discussing some TV programs everybody that you don't often see or will, well will see on TV anytime soon. Now these programs are really, are really good programs I do think uh, when I mention these program titles everyone will recognize it being on TV um, one of which would be Cowboy Builders. Now I really like this series I've watched it um, about eight or nine years ago when it was on repeats as such but the repeats of the series is no longer on TV so I'm a bit annoyed about that only because um, it's a really good series and you don't get anything like Cowboy Builders in terms of home improvements um, you don't get any thought of the you know you don't get much of a documentary that is made like Cowboy Builders I mean if people have seen it already um, you know exactly what I'm on about the investigating of hunting down the you know the traders um, the people and just seeing the home rebuilt you don't really get that sort of feel in other documentaries but in Cowboy Builders you, you know you just want to watch it from start from series 1 until about series 11 um, but it's not um, been on TV in years and I just don't know why that haven't been because it's, it can't be due to ratings because I would entirely think that this series was popular uh, because it did aired on TV originally in 2009. Um, it used to be on the Channel 5 On Demand player before it turned into My5 and when My5 launched uh, a couple of years ago um, it, was the, it, was the, it was the last time it officially was on TV. However, because I've never heard of Spike as much back then I would never have thought Cowboy Builders would have aired on this channel. This channel has been shut down, however, and there's no indication that that would be brought back to any of the five networks, um, like in 5 Action. Which 5 Action, you know, it's a TV channel built for action or action programs. They could at least re-air this series on there, you know, from Series 1. to Because Channel 5 is the main um, broadcasters that have commissioned these programs. And it's up to Channel 5 to, to re-air them, but I don't think um, that'll ever happen. And... To make matters worse with everybody, when, when you've got My5 as well. If they wasn't going to make it on TV, they should at least release the box sets on My5. So it gives anyone a chance um, to scroll through the archives of Channel 5 and just watch the content. Because I would watch Cowboy Builders all day if I knew um, where to watch it. Um, I've tried to track this show for many years, or for many months. Um, there isn't many episodes that I found on the internet. Um, so I really am hoping, everybody, I really am hoping um, that this will get re-aired. Because I think it, once everyone starts to re-watch it again, it will bring some memories back of what they've watched in the 2010s. Um, and I just think it's a great series. So fingers crossed, everybody, this comes back on TV. Um, but that's one of my first favourites um, programmes that I used to like back in the 2010s. Um, so the next one, everybody, is called Cowboy Traders. Now, I did find a website um, to put a little clip on screen for you. I am going to turn the sound down because I did uh, read one of the feedbacks from my other videos and about it being loud that you can't hear the um, the, the commentary. Um, so I'm just going to fire up a little sample of Cowboy Traders. What kind of world is it where we live in fear of being ripped off by our shrinkers' robes? I'd love to know how he can sleep at night. There's something similar sending your car to the garage. Where's the engine? Why a family pet just died of a man? So as you can see, the video is slightly different from Cowboy Builders. Cowboy Traders investigates um, businesses, so whether it's wedding shops, um, pet sellers, things like that. Um, that and this is the most shortest series ever, everybody, because this, this has only ever been on TV uh, for two series. I haven't been back for any more additional series after that. And again, I don't know why that is, because again, it is popular, and for only just for two series, it, it isn't a lot. And I do think Channel 5 could have recommissioned um, that back for at least another few more series, because if you look at um, Don't Get, Don't Get Dom, that's another similar programme that I like as well and I haven't been on BBC in many years and there haven't been any any episodes released on the internet so that's another series everybody that I do like to watch um, and that's, I haven't been on TV and I'm hoping it will I'm hoping it'll come back on TV at some point um, and for those who doesn't know 
and what cal uh, what um, don't get don't get Dom is. I'll just put it on the screen now. So it's on the BBC, but we can actually find out as well when the last one actually aired. Um, I do think it was quite some time ago. Um, so this is the last one, series nine. I've been back any from any time after that. Um, and I was that wasn't on TV everybody since 2015. So it's still near enough now. Good on to nine years at best, and that haven't been re-aired at all. So I'm hoping that comes back on TV because again that was a really good consumer program, where you know Dominic go go across the council and or things like that or investigate different things in different episodes. And that's another really good show I used to watch as well. Um, however, that haven't been on TV in a while, so I'm hoping that will get back on TV, too. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Cowboy Trade. It's a really that haven't been on TV in 2015. If I go back to it, I think it's going to be here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so this is the good website really to find out when the last airings, uh, airings of the program is. It's on televisioncatchup.co.uk. And as you can see, their last broadcast, similar to um, Don't Get Don't Get Don, uh, in February of 2015. And that was on Five Star. And that was the last time that program aired. So that's another eight years, really, at best, where that haven't been aired or haven't been seen on TV again. And again, I don't know why Channel 5 just can't release it to my 5 or for us to even watch. I mean, people think if people don't like it, they don't have to watch it. I mean... But I would just like to re 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 air my memories or re see my popular programs I used to like back in the day. Um, so the next other TV show, everybody that I do like, however, is Brit Cops. Now I have seen the first series, Frontline Crime, that's on reruns on some channels now, and it has been for years. Um, I've seen Brit Cop's rapid response, that's normally on reruns um, on certain channels, I've seen that. Um, I've seen Brit Cop's Law and Disorder, and that's also on released on YouTube. Um, I have seen Brit Cop's War on Crime, however there is one or two episodes that haven't actually been aired on TV for me to watch, but I have seen the majority of the series. Um, but there's one series, everybody, that have not been on TV in about, I would say, at least 11 years. And that is Brit Cop Zero Tolerance. Now, there is one episode that I've watched on YouTube, and that was released on YouTube um, about nine years ago. However, the full series have never been released on the, the internet as such. There's only been one episode that I've seen, and ever since then, it's untraceable. Um, you can't even find out where to watch it, because it's just, you know, Brit Cop Zero Tolerance, you type that in to your Google search, nothing much comes out of it. Um, and again, that's another dubious one, um, because they re-aired all of the other Brit Cop series, but they've left the Zero Tolerance out of reruns, and I, we, and I don't know what the reason is. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. If you are going to re-air Brit Cops, you would air it from start to finish. You wouldn't just leave a series out. Um, and I haven't tracked down that series since, it really. Um, so it is annoying, but, you know, because popular programs like this who get the ratings in, and they just doesn't re-air them after that. I don't know why. It can't be due to rights because they can re they can regain those rights and re-air it. If it's not just re-airing it, they can just put it on demand or something. There's a lot. There's something that can be done to get these programs back on air. Because uh, I just think everyone would really appreciate watching them. Um, so we're just going to go through some new articles, everybody. So one of which is um, where they've been slandered. Um, well, the, the the actual show has. Um, by the headlines of police to parade our streets, not parade on TV. Uh, they are no longer the tall, daunting, drunken, twirling presence that I remember. So, so, so why do police officers make me nervous? It's because I've been watching the del deluge of police docu soaps, TV shows that dominate late night TV schedules, frontline crime 999, cops with cameras, police interceptors, night watch, night cops, brick cops, street, uh, street, street crime. Um, they portray a cause end or night watch or things like that. So I don't know why this article has been released as such because it doesn't really give out um, the reasoning why it's been published. Um, but if you do want to read that, everybody, the link will be in the description. Um, but that that's around the time, everybody, when it was originally aired. Um, Brit Cop Zero Tolerance in July 2009. 
Now, it used to be on Bravo TV um, until it shut down in 2011. Um, then most of its um, programs went on to Sky One and Vic TV as well. Um, but if I had to um, try and speculate a video, I reckon the last time that it was aired as reruns was about 2012. And uh, since then, they haven't been re-aired since. Um, and I've been tr trying for years, really, to try and get a, a full box set or a full 10 episodes. However, I've been unsuccessful in my efforts. Um, so I am hoping that that will be back on TV. Um, like, you know, series one episode, the, the, the original air dates there. Um, so the final was in March 2009. And, and again, haven't been on there uh, since 2012. And, uh, yeah, I do miss watching that sort of program. Really, I've seen the one episode that's on YouTube, and I really am into that series, but there's no other episodes for me to watch. Um, but, yeah, here's just another clip of from Cowboy Builders um, from YouTube here. So, just going to play that for a couple of seconds so everyone can know um, if it can recast any of, the, any of memories um, from, from what he was watching. Um, from about 10 years ago. So that is a full episode, I have really, um, from a YouTuber called Julian Carroll. Um, it's got 27,000 uh, views, and that was released in 2019, but I, but judging from the, the date there, um, that's probably must have been in, um, in his archives and just released it um, in that time. Um, but as you can see at the start of the clip, um, it's probably on five. On Channel 5 so it wasn't um, that episode wasn't on when Channel Five renamed itself again. Um, so another one as well. I'll just brief this, briefly mention this before the video gets too long. Um, it's Autopsy UK. Now this is a bit of a funny one. This is really because Channel Five have aired series up to series five. But then when you go into season six, um, they are from a USA network. Now, I've been trying to find out really when this last series or episode aired. I have been unsuccessful in finding that information out officially. Um, but I can only speculate that, that, that the actual um, last reruns was about 2016. Um, but I could be wrong with that. Um, but then all these episodes here, really from, from series six to series 14 now and that is only on a usa network that's not produced by channel 5 um so it's not really made for you know great british people it's made for the usa audience um i do think channel 5 should have recommissioned that as well everybody because it was a very good documentary um they have got a similar documentary up now which is called cause of death <laughs> but it doesn't really go into the investigative work um like the last hours of that celebrity it's a more it's a more up-to-date documentary the course of death however i don't find it too um in depth such as the autopsy uk i do think the autopsy uk made a nice way of producing a documentary producing the information um doing the investigation and things like that it's all about the camera work and things like that um but i, I do i used to watch the autopsies uk um, when it was on channel five but i haven't been on tv never been in about six years um, and uh, I can't find out as well where to watch any of these episodes. So if anyone do have any um, suggestions on how I can watch these episodes, do let me know in the comments. But I think that's going to conclude this uh, this video. I'm just going to conclude though with a little clip from the Autopsy UK uh, trailer. Um, so this was released in 2015. And I do think around then that was the last series to wear on Channel 5. But I just think Channel 5 should bring that back, or again, release it on the My5 box set. Because BBC can do it, ITV can do it, anyone can do it, so why just can't they do it? You know, so we're just going to conclude with this trailer. Music introduced the world to a remarkable voice. At times she would be crying because it was so good. A very public private life laid bare her demon. So as you can see there, it's about Amy Winehouse, um, which, which was good when I watched it, um, when it was originally on TV, but again, I can't find any of the episodes to rerun or to rewatch the series. But I'm hoping you have enjoyed it, really this little rant of the day about me missing my programs that isn't on TV anymore. If you know any uh, websites really that that does offer these these programs, do let me know in the in the comments. I'd be much appreciated. 
Um, but until the next one, biddies, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.